Respond when you have successfully entered the neural session of our client's virtual reality and updated your debugging interfaces. I repeat, Diva, do you copy? It really is Christmas. The boss lady herself is assisting me. I hear you loud and clear, Nessie. Who's our damsel in distress today? Ah, uh, it's you, Thomas. Name's Alice Geller, a famous virtual reality shaper and artist. She's stuck inside Imagine, you know, the company's world creator. Don't worry, girl. I'm your diver and I'm coming to the rescue. What the hell? This doesn't look like an art project. More like some damn robot invasion. Ness, is this some kind of joke? The debugger gave me a gun and a shield for crying out loud. Do I seem like a joker, Thomas? Not that I'm complaining. A swarm of drones tried to disconnect me. Looks like Alice messed around with Imagine's protection code. So, we've got another amateur hacker on our hands. And she's a much-loved celebrity, so you need to be doubly careful. Why can't the kids play with matches during regular business hours and let me have some well-deserved sleep? If we can prove that she illegally modified our software, we'll have her in our pocket. We could sue her or use her. Good old Ness. Always looking out for the company. Someone in this rat hole has to plan ahead. plans. I've got our client's coordinates. Get in there and be quick about it. Good. You've made it to our client's avatar. Get ready for another attack from the software security. Don't worry, I'll reboot our golden girl faster than you can say Thomas Hall is a wonderful diver and I'm secretly in love with him. Is this all just a game for you, Thomas? The Ice Queen's got no holiday spirit. <laughs> okay, I can keep it professional. I'm beginning to like shooting sci-fi drones in their metal faces. Do you know how much money Wired Industry loses every time you burn out one of your brain damage prevention safeguards? More than my monthly salary, I'll bet.
I've been the most senior diver ever since poor Sam got in that coma, but nobody seems to appreciate me. Oh, like you know about being stuck on the career ladder. You know, Nessie, I think I'll need a raise after we get our Sleeping Beauty out of here. Fill out a formal request, and we'll consider it. And stop calling me that. I've warned you a hundred times. Clear. Come on, Ness. Let's pull this girl out of the rabbit hole. Thomas, it seems that Alice Gala wasn't jammed because she was messing around with Imagine's code. We need more data to figure out what's going on. You know, I've been much less enthusiastic about our work since Sam got sick. And it's because I don't think our bosses trust us. That's no excuse for sloppy work. Anything could have happened to Samuel. morning we can go check on Sam at the hospital. Look, I'll have a talk with my senior staff about him. But first, get rid of those drones. I have some more bad news for you. I'm not getting that raise. Well, it won't be my first year without one. No big deal. Alice was blocked by a security protocol that prevents disconnection from virtual reality in case of an intelligent outbreak. So she's stuck here because of the corporation after all. Worse than that, she's in prison. Oh, Thomas, please. I'm trying to say there's an artificial intelligence somewhere in this copy of Imagine. An actual working, self-modifying neural...
I think it tried to ambush and scare me. Seems like this AI understands human emotions. Thomas, you're now in the main data cluster. Prepare yourself for a major fight. Maybe all the practice I put in on Galaxy Border 8 will finally pay off. This may be a historical moment. The first spark of a mind faster and smarter than our own. But you... you turn everything into a circus sideshow. This AI is already a better human being than you, Thomas. Got it, Ness. What I'm saying is, no one leaves this neural session while the AI is operational. So now I'm what? A gladiator? It's me or this cyber brain in a fight to the finish? Let me ask you, do you ever hear anything about work ethics, Ness? Thomas, don't whine. We can't give that AI a chance to escape into other sessions. That's an order. virus. It turns everything into itself. So, it's like a horde of zombies. If zombies could infect not just humans, but also rocks, trees, and the sky. Okay, maybe, maybe that's a bad metaphor. We now have the exact coordinates of the AI's avatar. We can wage a direct assault and shut it down for good. Thomas, it worked. The AI's avatar is here. Get cracking. I have some cross-departmental conferencing. But how do I bring down this cyber goliath? Should I just blow him to pieces? Technically, you need to debug enough of its code for me to initiate a shutdown algorithm. But considering the interface you're working with, what you said is more or less accurate. 
Blow the thing to pieces. Ma'am, yes ma'am. That's what I like to hear. Ness, I've been thinking. Maybe Sam ran into something like this AI, and that's why he's a vegetable now. Samuel was a genius diver. He didn't use pre-made tools like the rest of you. He invented the right ones for each job. I don't think this AI could have done him any harm. It looks like a soulless, hungry newborn. But if something like this AI exists, Wired Industries may be hiding other skeletons in its closet. Thomas, I can't get through to our AI department. It seems like no one's around. Hold on. I'll get back to one of them. 